What is up, my Red Rebel Nation family? It is your boy Deuces. I'm back once again. Thank you, guys. Guys, we are back with a video called Bread Pudding. Yes, Bread Pudding. Guys, and the guy's name is uh, Stolly Cracker. Yes, Stolly Cracker Official is his name. So, with that being said, guys, this guy is remarkable. I love this video, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Let's continue. Let's get right into the video, guys. But first, love yourself, like yourself, be nothing but yourself. Like, subscribe, channel. It's highly appreciated. Without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. Got this old leftover bread from Florida. What you think I'm gonna make with that, dude? Bread pudding, couillon. Now take that old bread, get you some pieces in a pan. Bust it up, bust it up. Bust it up. Small pieces, it don't matter. Old bread, new bread. Now I don't know about you guys, but I do not like bread pudding. A lot of people like bread pudding for like Thanksgiving, Christmas, put cinnamon over top of it and everything else. And for those who do not know, I've worked my years in a kitchen before beside top chefs. So I do know how to cook. That's no joke. Even though I look like I'm still joking, but I'm really not guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. French bread, any bread or do. You got that bread tore up, separate bowl, five yard pimp eggs, dude. Like that, a little whole milk, whoa, a little heavy cream. That's what makes your dream, dude. A little sugar, get that out of here. A little cinnamon. A little what? Cinnamon? A little cinnamon? What kind of word is that? You're throwing stuff around your kitchen. Why? Why is all the hostility? What is all the hostility about? Let's continue. Vanilla abstract, dude. Put that in there. Mix that around. Ooh, that's good. Got your mixture. You got that bread. Pour that in there like that. Right we're gonna toss that around and we're gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes dude look at that already i bet you by the time you are done cooking well your studio or whatever that may be looks like absolutely shit yes i'm not getting this let's continue i can just Bread pudding for the wind, dude. So easy. Leftover bread. Don't waste it, dude. We got that oven set to 350, dude. On the money. Mix that into your pan. Just like that. Okay, get, every, get all that goodness out of there, dude. That's pretty right there, dude. Check that out, check that out. Money, dude. Put that in that oven. For about an hour until that center set, either one, put that in there, dude, like that. We're going with a very, very basic sauce. You could use pecans, you could use whatever you want. Half a stick of butter, melt that down. We're not making a roux couillon. What did you just say? I'm not even gonna try it, guys. I'm sorry, I just not gonna try that word. I'm gonna have to like ask Siri or something what that word means. And I'm not lying, I'm not joking one bit. I will ask Siri what that word means. Anyways, I'm following this guy. Let's continue. Like I said, this is a simple, simple sauce. You could use raisins, caramel, whatever you want. Make the sauce how you like. We keeping it simple today, dude. What is that? And it's caramel. Is it, is it not caramel? Car how did you say it? Let's continue. 
add that flour. Like I said, we're not making a roux. We're just gonna make this really, really smooth. Get all the chunks out. Then we're gonna hit it with that sugar. Come see, come see. I thought you already put sugar in it. Is this one of the recipes that calls for a whole bag of sugar? You know, where you have your sweet tea and you're just like. Until the person stops pointing at the glass of tea. Is that what this is? Louisiana. Let's continue. Look at that. Smoothing out how pretty that is. That heavy cream, dude. Sometimes I eat my cereal with just heavy cream. That's why I'm fat. Heavy cream. That sugar. Get that out of here. I scared you this time. Just melt all this down nice and smooth. Like velvet, dude. Everybody been asking about the why we wait we hydrate. This is a cone, bro. Take that little funnel out like that. Call this the chit chit. Right on the bottom like that. You pour your beer. No. No. Or I don't like think so. Drink. Deuces, I'm out. No. Guys, are you joking me? Anything for people to make money. Anything. Guys, I know you guys are going to see this. I got to get me one of those. Plain and simple. I got to get me one of those. That is a cup that the cone the funnel connects to and you just put it in the bottom of the cup and done pour your drink and you're done like your alcohol percentage will go from zero to 5.2 in 2.4 seconds that's how it goes anyways let's continue drink in there like that boom let that bubble go up to the top While we wait, we hydrate that money. I just seen. I bet you do hydrate. Now, let me ask you a question real quick. Are you going to be able to cook now? Because I guarantee you after about four of those, you probably won't be cooking no more. You already throw things around the kitchen. Or, well, your studio. Anyways. Guys, let's continue. That comment, you'll find that on that website, dude. We got the fire off completely off. Vanilla abstract, almond abstract that smells delicious. Mix that around. This is gonna go on top of that bread pudding. That's what makes it so good. I might even put a shot of bourbon in there, but I ain't gonna show you that, dude. Hey, what's that over there? Bourbon? What is bourbon? Isn't it bourbon? Not bourbon? Picture that. I'm trying to teach somebody how to talk. Doesn't happen very often, guys. But now we have this guy getting ready to put some stuff that does not belong in some stuff that doesn't belong. It set up and then he almost fell and edited his video. I think he needs to stop drinking on set. Let's continue. Just nice. Check this out, dude. Oh, right there. I like to make some little cuts in there to let that goodness we about to pour on top of that. Well, where I'm from, we take fork and we stab it like 3,000 times until there's little holes in it for the stuff to actually go into the pudding. But the pudding's not like buoyant on top, so whenever you pour a harder, you know, liquid on top, isn't it going to kind of go down inside the bread pudding anyways? I guess I'm not following something here. Let's continue. Soak right on in, dude. 
Now you're gonna pour that glaze you made right over the top. Let it soak in for the win. Don't waste not one piece of that drizzle, dude. Drizzle it on there. Look at that. So I say, ball it. No two-step, no cracker. You don't need that on this, dude, because this is your little sauce money, dude. Mm, mm. So simple, so easy, and straight fire. I got to say, it looks 100% good, but my wife absolutely hates watching movies with me because I make them exact same faces all the way through the movie and talk. No lie, guys. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys liked the video, guys. I'm going to be bringing you another one today. Anyways, guys, go check out the channel. There's a lot more where that comes from. Go to the community post. Actually, go there. And I actually have Red Rebel Nation merch there. Go check that out, too. Guys, salute to Creek Squad, Red Rebel Nation. I love you guys, YouTube family. I love you guys, too. And I guess I just love everybody. Anyways, I'm out, guys. Deuces. Your boy Deuces is out. Thank you, guys.